Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Babu Jolie here with your strength and positivity reading for the period as of now, which is the end of March, right through April and May. I've been guided to do a bonus reading uh, regarding the energy shifts that's going on in the world at the moment and address some of uh, the messages that Spirit wants to give you for this time period. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and your subscribes and for all of those uh, inspirational messages you've been leaving in the comments boxes below. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy and I'm slowly getting through the second batch uh, to announce the winner of the ring competition. I will do that shortly. Uh, it's taking some time so please bear with me. Um, just a gentle reminder also that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, and without further ado, I'll get straight to your reading, Pisces. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I'm using uh, The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What do my beautiful Pisces need to know for the time period that I've set? Can you please guide them to the messages, what they need to know for the time period? Thank you so much. For those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card because I feel that is my energy. Everybody is different. So uh, the cards that jump out are the messages I feel from spirit. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. This is just the way I do it. Okay, so you have two of water there. Beautiful card to start there. Uh, my gorgeous Pisces. And uh, how uh, wonderful. Two goldfish there just hanging out together. Um, so this is a harmonious partnership. Um, that is coming in uh, to uh, synchronicity for you there. Um, this is about you, um, people that you're connected to um, between two souls. So although this is a, a time of suspended energy um, and the, the world is kind of on hold at the moment, uh, things slowing down or stopping, um, and you know because of what's going on with this um, horrible pandemic, um, Spirit is saying that you are actually connecting um, very harmoniously during this time to the people uh, you really care about, okay? Now, this is a deep, deep connection between two souls and you're partnering uh, with someone who's very harmonious with you. Together, um, you're stronger together, as it were, and um, you're exploring what is at the moment and what, what might be in the future, okay? So some of you are talking to people wondering if they're your soulmate kind of energy going on there. Uh, some of you are connecting to someone who you believe is your soulmate and two hearts beating as one is this energy from this card. Um, there's a lot of replenishing and encouraging energy from each other um, and someone who brings out the best in you um, and you do the same for the other person, the other soul there. Um, it's a, an expression, both of you are giving an expression of divine love towards each other. Now this card is normally uh, two of water there is connected uh, to the two of cups in the traditional tarot and it's a, a romantic love, a, a partnership there. Uh, some of you may be receiving a proposal during this time. Uh, I know the, the some scary stuff's going on in the world there, but um, love does go on and love triumphs over all. So Spirit is saying this could be a time for marriage proposals there or taking the leap into the unknown with the other person, um, you know, uh, starting a relationship with someone, um, being honest about your feelings because of what's going on in the mo at the moment, you're, you're really connecting to who and what is important in your life and you're not afraid to make that connection right now because they're saying life is too short, be honest, be upfront, tell how you feel. They're only emotions, they're very strong and they're very deep, but don't be afraid of it, you know, really run with how you truly feel because the other person reciprocates there, okay? So um, as I said, you, you, there's some sort of romantic love or romantic partnership being declared during this time. Um, and a real connection coming out there. If you haven't had it yet, Spirit is asking you, oh, okay, Temptations next, we'll, we'll come to that in a moment. Spirit is saying um, that, you know, don't be afraid to um, reach out to, to the person that, that you feel connects to you on a, some sort of romantic level there, okay? You are the first um, sign that I've done for, for this uh, reading who uh, has figured romance in the situation. So Pisces, you're very connected, you're very sensitive there, and you're seeing right through what's going on at the moment, realizing what's important in life, and making the connections you need to make on a deep love 
um, soul kind of, you know, this sensitive um, emotional level. You, you've got things in order, Pisces, for what's going on in the world at the moment. A lot of people are, you know, there's a lot of chaos, etc., etc. But you've really connected quite quickly to what is important. Okay, and now we do have the temptation card uh, coming on in there. This is Major Arcana. Um, when we got the temptation card, um, we are talking about attachments. Okay, um, with this energy is uh, attachments to the material world, and um, the material world is your playground, as it were. But you need to be careful about what you're attached to and the outcomes of it. So this is like a warning from spirit to watch excesses during this time that are not healthy for you. Okay, when this card shows up, it's often a sign that um, you're focused uh, a lot uh, on the material realm during this time and you need to be aware of any excesses that you're making in that area, uh, be it addictive behavior. And this is a card to do with yourself or others. Okay, so you may be dealing with a person during this time who has a, a, a tendency to overspend or um, who you know, cannot, they're showing me at the moment someone who cannot deal with the situation of what's going on in the world right now and they need alcohol or, you know, they, they need to, uh, it's almost like they need to suppress the pain away. They need to, uh, yeah, they need to deal with it in uh, their own way, which is, um, yeah, uh, some sort of substance. It doesn't have to be alcohol, but they're showing me um, substances there. Okay, so um, they're just saying watch out for that, okay, because although you're very deep, sensitive, and you feel everything on such an incredibly um, deep level there, um, there is um, sometimes we feel we go too deep. They're saying uh, sometimes it's just too deep. And people, um, oh, I love that sentence. Uh, they're saying uh, people can only meet you as deep as they have met themselves. Okay, I'll say that again. Um, people can only meet you as deep as they have met themselves. Okay, so during times of like medica meditation or when we have quiet time alone, people uh, are not willing to um, go over certain thoughts. Um, they can't deal with stuff, okay? So they will uh, skirt on the surface. Um, you, Pisces, have a tendency to go quite deep, okay? And you're not afraid of those um, emotions, really. Uh, you exist in the emotional realm because you are a water element, of course. Um, they're saying, Although this person you may be dealing with, uh, who is some sort of romantic um, interest there for you, although um, they are tempted to have this attachment to some form of substance to deal with what's going on in the world, um, they're saying don't be too hard on them. They're dealing with fear. They just can't. They just can't deal with it uh, in your way. They're dealing with it in their own way. Now, if you find that this is you. Uh, Spirit is saying, just be mindful of it, you know, they understand the human realm and the human psyche and what needs must, but they're saying, just don't go too far, okay? So if you are dealing with someone, Pisces, who has a temptation to overeat, they've even shown me overeating, um, or, um, you know, it's almost like feeding their feelings to numb, numb stuff, okay? They're saying, just be there for them on an emotional level um, and um, don't the temptation, just advise them because the temptation is too strong for them right now. They just can't deal. They just cannot deal. Okay. Now this could be to do with overspending. This could be to do with overeating. It could be to do with alcohol because I see this alcohol there or some uh, substance there. Um, they, they just cannot deal. So um, they're just saying, be mindful that um, you can't judge them too harshly. Thank you so much, Spirit, because they keep coming back to the sentence, you can only meet someone as deeply as they have met themselves, okay? Uh, high Priestess mode, oh wow, I'm loving that. With the High Priestess mode, another major arcana card for you, and this is um, mystery, okay? This is like, thing, some things are just not meant to be known intellectually. They're meant to be experienced through intuition, and you can really feel this person, Pisces, uh, that you're dealing with there. You can, every, uh, yeah, it's almost like unspoken, you, you just, you just know, okay? And because you're deeply connected there. And this uh, card reminds you to trust that you have access to higher wisdom during this time and that actually um, you are all knowing and, and you are true, you are right to trust and tune in to your vibes, okay? Because this is a time where um, your intuition will serve you, 
okay? When you get the High Priestess, it's about mysteries, you know, something you cannot physically see with the eye, but something you can sense with the gut. Now, I always like to call um, my gut my, my first eye because I feel here first. Whenever something's off, you get that gut instinct. You can't see it, you don't know it, but here says it all. So I always call this my first eye or my first brain. Um, so um, they're saying, you know, trust this, okay? And all else will follow and everything will be revealed, okay? And you will grow as a result. So um, bringing it back to this connection with this person, um, I really feel um, you're very in tune with them and uh, you will give them advice and actually they will take it okay because they love you uh, there's a deep now this may not be a romantic love this may be someone in your um someone you have a very deep uh, partnership with it could be a family member it could be a deep friendship there um but it's someone you connect to on a very deep level they will take your advice um but uh you know it, it may take some time but all will be revealed okay but both of you will grow as a result especially you pisces because you're actually very connected to your higher self during this time in that deep inner wisdom that you have there okay thank you so much spirit guys guardian angels what else do my beautiful pisces need to know during this time thank you so much i just love it when they just jump right out of the pack okay messenger of earth right okay so if they were to jump this way it'll be this way from the pack so uh we're getting patience okay patience is another major arcana card in this deck um when you have the high priestess they just wanted me to um to uh come to this card it is um something will be revealed about this person some sort of secret they just wanted me to come back there um but it's like you know something's off um it's nothing personal towards you but it's something deep from their past or something deep from for, that they're dealing with okay and they will open up to you it will be revealed but of course patience so uh patience card um in is a major arcana card in this um deck here but it uh, speaks of moderation okay so the two go in hand in hand patience and moderation so your advice to them is not to tell this person don't do this don't do that don't do because you're actually going to make them do it more they're just going to be like stop bombarding me S step away th th their boundaries are going to be up but your advice because you're so beautifully sensitive and you know you understand the mysterious world of emotions um th th you're actually going to uh, say give them some advice like okay i understand what you're going through to a, a certain degree but just i'm, I'm going to ask you to practice moderation during this time now that could be as i said due to overspending it could be um because a lot of um, money has been uh, suspended during this time um, so some people have lost their jobs some people have um, you know um, money isn't coming in w when they expected it to come in so there's a lot on hold at the moment so emotions are very high okay so this person may be as I said overspending or overeating or um, you know taking some sort of substance to numb everything that's going on around them and patience brings moderation so just advise moderation for this person or if this speaks to you Pisces uh, then to yourself this card reminds you that pa patience will actually bring you into recognition and alignment of your purpose or their purpose if they're the person with the, the issue there okay all your needs will actually be met um, though they may not uh, you may not be able to see it um, in the outer world you may not see it with the visible world but you got the high priestess there Pisces you can feel it with your first brain your first eye there you can feel that everything is coming into alignment and actually what you you need um, is coming to you and what what is meant for you is coming to you okay the angels are looking out for you during this time but you must practice moderation in all things right now okay that is the period that we're in at the moment patience and moderation but you're being guided um, there's no doubt about that and so is the other person that you're dealing with here um, so uh, but they're just saying they they can't see something at the moment they just they can't uh, feel that anything is going to go right right now if that makes sense but you can you cannot see it Pisces but they're saying you can feel it okay and that's most important look at that hierophant I love it you got the hierophant there spiritual practice they're reminding you uh, both you and this person actually uh, they're reminding you in particular though um, to keep your spiritual practice going be committed to this spiritual practice and by spiritual practice I mean 
whatever it is you normally do to connect to your higher self or you, you know to spirit um, or whoever uh, you know whoever you worship as it were um, they're saying you know meditation is very important it's very key to connecting with your inner self and your guides um, but also um, quiet time even just listening you know um, during, you know half an hour an hour uh, of listening time by yourself listening to your inner thoughts letting them come in and then letting them flow out um, lots of information is going to come your way and you're very intuitive during this time very almost psychic actually during this time I would say definitely um, but when this card uh, appears and it is the center of your um, reading along with the first card center card are the strongest of the actual um, the, the read um, you you're really connecting with this person and their energies and you're using uh, this spiritual practice you may uh, help guide them in some form of spiritual practice to help them through this but also this is helping you and them connect on a much deeper soul level okay because you're not only connecting to your your higher self but in the um, non-physical realm where you cannot see each other and it's about vibrations and connections your rituals are actually going to bring you both together on a very deep uh, almost karmic bond level but in a very positive way okay it um exchanging vows is also highlighted during this time uh, when you got the high uh, the hierophant there um exchanging vows some sort of ceremony or some sort of um you know some ceremonious connection so again it speaks to the two of water this coming together this partnership um a deep um love romantic partnership but also proposal or marriage during this time um physically you won't be able to get married but i can see planning of marriage um or uh, someone proposing to you um there is a coming together and it's more than just a physical uh, thing it's like a spiritual mental um thing that's there very deep love very deep bond between each other um, even if you cannot physically be with each other right now they're showing me the time that um, you know some of you may actually be separated from this person because of the situation that's going on on around the world this um, you know isolation mode um, th they're saying that you know you may not uh, be able to physically be with them but there will be this connection and th these vows almost will be exchanged and um, not in a legal way uh, uh, yeah not in a legal like ceremony but as in an exchange of words okay but you're becoming very deep with this person as you can see the uh, the, the the wedding rings there are on the table there is a some form of ceremony now uh, at the moment they want to keep it to a ceremonial practice like uh, meditation using the law of attraction uh, the secret some form of connecting to your higher self both you and this person uh, they want to keep that connection alive because whatever it is you truly want and desire Pisces is on its way to you and you're very connected right now uh, messenger of earth look at that I love that messenger of earth is hard working perseverance and your efforts um, really starting to show through towards the end of the energy uh, you're in the flow when you get this card the, the messenger of earth okay um, this is a, 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 a card that is actually it speaks to um, the page um, we this connected kind of to the page uh, although it's a, a unique card in this deck that's what I want to say there and um, so this is um, someone who's hard-working um, and um, you know perseveres even through the toughest times now Pisces although you're a water sign I really feel um, the energy of this card even though it's an earth element um, it speaks to you and this person so some of you may be actually dealing with an earth sign uh, in terms of this uh, wonderful connection between you and them so you could be dealing with Taurus Virgo Capricorn during this time um, but it is someone who is dedicated and determined that their efforts will pay off so when you get the messenger there you will get news uh, towards the just feeling that right now for the time period uh, yeah so around about mid-April yeah mid-April time you will you will get some sort of news that you, you or this person that your stamina and your dedication is gonna pay off 
and that good uh, goodness is coming your way okay uh, you've been doing your best with the situation that you have and spirit has got your back okay spirit will effectively and efficiently bring you what you deserve with this card pisces okay so um it is a fruit as you can see, uh, there are leaves starting to grow. Oh, they just wanted me to highlight. I've really never really looked at this card like this, but they really wanted me to highlight that these branches on top of her head there, they're sparse. This is a, a worrying time where everything seems to have been stopped dead in its tracks. But they want you to pay attention to the leaves that are starting to grow on these branches. Okay, because um, you're, this is a time for growing and connecting. Um, but it will be fruitful on the other side. So it's almost like this, even though we're not in winter right now, um, th they're saying that um, this is a time, yeah, this is the time for growing. The spring, the, um, everything is starting to grow for you towards the end of this period, okay? So they really want you to keep that, um, that hope alive there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know during this time? Thank you so much. They want you to know emperor look at that oh that power okay so uh, in the traditional tarot deck uh, the right away tarot um the emperor card is about respect leadership and actually um planning you know strategic planning you may be uh, also dealing with some sort of father figure you may be getting advice from them this is an aries energy with this uh, card in the traditional tarot and it is you know making things work for you okay and some people looking to you uh, to be a leader okay um during this time and um but there's a lot of respect with this person so you could be dealing with an aries there um or you know you you've got some sort of father figure that you're looking up to for advice or this person um you know i don't want to really mention is it freud that says we all marry women uh, marry the father figure and the men marry the the matriarch figure um i don't want to go there but they're saying that someone maybe this person that you're connecting to reminds you or has traits like your father which actually makes you feel very safe it doesn't mean they look like your father it doesn't mean they are your father in terms of energy or anything but there's certain things that make you feel safe with this person um so they're, they're saying you know there, there could be some connection there maybe this person is an aries but when we've got it in this particular tarot deck, the Emperor, uh, it's about authority, okay? And it's about following the rules right now um, is exactly what you should be doing. Um, people in authority may come to your aid and also give you very good advice when you ask for it. So especially during this time, now this is going to happen around about, yeah, beginning of May time, there will be some news coming in from authorities, etc., etc., on what we need to do around the world this is in the beginning of may okay so uh, but this is about uh, definitely a time for following rules and nobody wants to follow rules as long as we're not hurting anybody why should we follow anyone's rules apart from our own right pisces i feel exactly the same i'm a scorpio that's how i live my life as long as i don't, don't hurt anybody i got my own rules going on um but they're saying that this is the time actually for following rules um, and so spirit is giving you advice that you can have strong confidence during this time um, and that dealings with institutions like banks, governments, uh, schools may be highlighted during this time, but it's best to adhere by the advice that they're giving you. OK, and that's um, for, for me personally, you know, do what you want to do, of course, um, but because uh, I cannot uh, I can only guide you via the cards and what spirit's saying. Um, but you should be doing that anyway during this time because of um, what's going on around the world. But in May, beginning of May in particular, that will um, be very important to, for you, okay, during that time. So listen out there, uh, even if you're thinking, should I do that? I don't know, I'm not feeling it. Uh, obviously, thank you so much, Spirit. Uh, obviously, lead with your gut there. Oh, wow, how convenient to close the reading too. Um, Obviously, go with your gut there, but they are saying it is advisable to listen to uh, authority during that time. Okay, so then we have the tower. Wow. Okay, this is a surprise. Surprise is coming on in there. Things happen really fast with this card. And showing up in the reading, it's um, it's almost saying uh, there will be some sort of, um, well, it is saying, not almost. It's saying uh, there will be a sudden shift or change, an upheaval that uh, takes something away um, in order for something better to take its place, 
okay? So um, in the traditional tarot deck, the tower is an unwanted change and um, an upheaval of some kind. Um, but I always feel that actually that's a very positive card for me because in the traditional tarot, you've got two people leaping from a tower that has like a lightning bolt struck it and is fire. Now, whenever I see that interpretation of it, I, I feel the lightning bolt is actually a lightning bolt moment in terms of an aha idea and leaping into the unknown with it okay and that it, it actually saves you so um because otherwise if you stay in the tower if you stay stuck in this stuck energy you know you get burned so um for me it's a very positive change card but in this particular tarot deck it is absolutely underlying how positive this change is okay with every deck has a different energy and this is a very positive shift that comes your way it, it it changes your world in a way that allows something better to come and take its place okay it could be that you have some sort of epiphany some sort of idea but whatever it is uh, spirit is saying this unexpected event will be very interesting and will actually offer you a lot of positive opportunities not only for transformation but uh, to open your eyes to a new world and to a new way of living your life okay in terms of finances and uh, having this wonderful connection to this person uh, that's there for you this soulmate energy that's going on but also connecting uh, to your higher self okay um, so it is actually a beautiful change as you can see look at those wonderful colors blue is my favorite color so of course I'm attracted to that but um, they are um, saying it. it is this like you can't see it right now Pisces you're thinking wow all this upheaval is making me anxious making me nervous uh, but actually it's serving your higher good it's, it's making things for the better okay so something wonderful is coming on in there page of fire okay pages um communication pages um yeah so pages are communicative okay um this is normally in the traditional tarot uh, a sagittarian energy um and it speaks of like a new project new creative idea um coming on in there towards the end that actually takes you by surprise because you've got the tower card so you may have some sort of new inspiration or new job coming on in there but something will take you by surprise and it actually speaks to your higher self because it's fire which is the element of creativity passion whatever you're strongly emotional about okay something you're very enthusiastic about and makes you want to achieve um, it makes you want to leap out of bed in the morning um, this is really strange <laughs> but a, an image of a watermelon or uh, came on in there someone is like jumping out of bed to have some watermelon this makes no sense but I only tell you when an image comes on in for me so maybe someone out there who's do having watermelon right now or watermelon uh, I'm seeing like a watermelon necklace or some sort of yeah some sort of disc that is a watermelon maybe you have a watermelon jewelry or something that is important to you and apparently this um, reading is supposed to uh, you're supposed to hear it okay so I'm just throwing that out there because it's come on in it's just interrupted me I'm sorry I'll get back to the reading but um yeah page of fire when you get the page of fire coming on in there it's about an enthusiastic action okay about whatever it is you truly uh, desire so it's like a it is the beginning of a project and actually taking uh, that action on a new uh, project new idea okay you are gonna move forward with it and you're gonna co-create um, it's like you're going to co-create uh, with somebody on this um, and it's going to speak to uh, the desire of your life path okay you finally found your purpose with this idea or this transformative change there okay um, it's very magical it is again you have to have connected to your higher self and to spirit during this time you are wonderfully psychic it's 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 incredible um, you are really in tune so listen to your ideas listen to they're saying um, obviously dreams are important but they're saying more take that time to spend alone just listening to your thoughts so whether that's in meditation or um, you know that quiet time that you have um, they're really asking you to to connect there that's when the ideas are going to come on in there for you okay um, but it will be a wonderful magic time for actioning what you uh, this idea that comes in and so towards the end of May there they're saying physical movement is back you're able to actually um, take charge and um, 
you know, physically start doing this wonderful idea that's come on into you. So movement will be um, prevalent towards the end of May. Um, so although we're all stagnant across the world at the minute with this energy, uh, most of the world, should I put there, um, that you will start to be able to physically uh, do what you want to do uh, towards the end of May there. Okay, uh, but Spirit's saying keep that connection. It's a wonderful connection there uh, that you have with Spirit. And this person, you actually, uh, I don't want to say this because um, I don't believe in saving people. Um, people save themselves, uh, but you can guide them. And Spirit is saying you are a very supportive, nurturing energy for this person right now, whoever this person is. And uh, you're very, uh, you've almost been heaven sent um, to this person as a connection, okay? Because now is the time they need you more than most, okay? Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you so much, Spirit, for this wonderful message, truly grateful. I'm just gonna give you uh, an angel oracle card uh, to uh, end the reading there. Thank you so much, Spirit, guides, guards, and angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know for this time? Thank you so much, um, truly grateful. Oh, thank you, wow. <laughs> That one just, uh, it's like a lightning bolt, this one. Shower of abundance. Yeah, that's what's coming for you right at the end of this energy. It starts shifting, as I said, round about, you know, that April into May time. Uh, it starts shifting right here with the messenger. It says shower of abundance. Okay, and it says to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So during this tough time, Pisces, really connect with your inner guides, your gut instinct, and they will guide you to the best solution for where you're at right now, okay? And they will show you and bring you abundance on the other side. Um, they're also saying, please... Uh, help this person or this could be you they have come back in just now and said or this could be Pisces um, you know if you're worried about your money situation right now they're saying that um, use your finances for what you have right now uh, wisely it's easier said than done not to turn to um, some sort of alcohol or uh, substance during this time or overeating or overspending during this time because uh, there are the vibrations of fear, uh, so they're saying um, it, they completely understand because the human uh, psyche, you know, they deal with fear in different ways. But they are saying um, if you uh, take time away from social media, maybe or, or news, check in with the news maybe every ten minutes, ten minutes a day. Sorry, not every ten minutes. That would drive you crazy. Um, uh, 10 minutes and then to see what's going on for the information you need but then step away and step into your higher self meditation or get busy doing your tasks brainstorming but this wonderful idea will come to you while you are um sitting with self okay uh, but they are showering you with abundance and they will give you this um unique idea to help your finances during this time and actually bring a lot of successful abundance on the other side okay um, they just want you to, to know that. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. What else do my beautiful Pisces need to know during this time? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Maybe I'm just being... Thank you so much. Maybe I'm just being delusional about food right now. <laughs> because, uh, bizarrely, garlic bread just came on in there for me. Someone making garlic bread. Uh, do you want to share? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, but the, yeah, it just came on in there. Garlic bread and watermelon. This is obviously, uh, me, perhaps it's my cravings. I don't know. They've got family that's come out for you. Okay. Um, beautiful card. And it says, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. So we could be dealing with this father figure here, this Aries. Um, and it says, uh, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Okay, so they've got your back, Pisces. They've got your back. Whatever this is, um, you know, if this is a father figure you're dealing with, who, you know, it, or, or this person who um, reminds you 
of a father figure um, type energy um, and, and if they're you know if they're leading with uh, you know hiding their pain with some sort of uh, substance abuse or something um, they're saying you know lead with that um, healing energy okay they, they keep pointing out to me don't say don't do this don't do that don't do this because this person's energy is gonna go screw you I'm gonna do it bigger I'm gonna do it even more than you said and not because it's because they don't like rules <laughs> they really don't like rules. I mean who does but um, they're, they're saying that if you just say okay I understand where you're coming from but just moderation okay you can still do what you need to do but just moderation coming back to the patient sorry the patient's card right there okay um, so that may, may be a family member that you're dealing with there with that situation and assertiveness Page of Fire, right at the end there. This Page of Fire, they're just clarifying the whole reading for you. Um, and they're saying, you know, this enthusiastic action, taking decisive, assertive action on this project or this project coming on in for you, finally being able to physically action it. Okay, it says, this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people that's involved in your situation. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Okay, so again, this could be this person really needs help. Um, so they, they are um, saying, you know, you are the person, Pisces, to help this person through this. Okay, as I said, you have almost been heaven sent to this person. You may not feel like it, but you've been divinely guided. Actually, no, they've corrected me. You do feel like it. You feel, you know, you've been divinely guided to this person to, to, to help them through this, okay? But there will also be some sort of exchange of vows or, you know, um, planning or getting engaged or, you know, really making a commitment to someone in a romantic sense during this time, um, which is going to be wonderful. Um, congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to give that to you in advance. But if, you're, if you haven't had that conversation or you're single, um, they're saying now's not the time to be shy. Reach out and tell this person how you feel. Emotions are truly, truly important there. And um, they're nothing to be uh, afraid of. Uh, we should embrace them, especially during this time of what's going on around the world. They're saying now is the time to be honest and just say, you know, I'm not going to apologize for how I feel. This is how I feel. If it's not reciprocated, so be it. But Spirit is saying actually it is reciprocated. Okay. Um, so um, take that leap. Uh, you may surprise yourself. Okay, Pisces, um, this, I hope this has resonated for some of you. Um, and if it has, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit. Truly grateful. Sorry, I just wanted to end that there. Um, it's completely free. Um, all you have to do is just press uh, the button there. Apparently, there's a bell. It's important. It lets you know when I update my next message, but it lets me know that I've connected with you, which is the most important. Um, as I said at the beginning, I hope I said this at the beginning, I will do my traditional tarot readings as usual, but I was guided to do this one as a bonus reading for you. And I will also announce the second winner of the ring uh, in the next couple of days there, as soon as I get through the second batch. Uh, but I was guided to do these messages as uh, most important first. Okay, so some of you out there, as I said, watermelon, garlic bread, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but it's coming on in there. So I'm only giving you and white feathers. That could be a signifier also uh, white feathers um, it is just showing me white feathers uh, so yeah that, that that's a signifier there for some of you out there so thank you so much for joining me my beautiful Pisces stay safe and love and light